Welcome to trigonometric graphs in radians. In a past video we looked at these in regards to degrees, but now that we've learnt how to convert to radians, we'll look at our graphs again, but using radian measures and introduce some new terms. So the first two terms we're going to look at is the amplitude, we'll represent that by a letter A or lowercase a, so it's uh, the maximum displacement of the wave above the mean position. So basically from the middle of the wave to the peak of the wave is the amplitude. And the period is the time it takes for one wave to complete. So basically from when it starts, and most of it will be when x is zero, or the beginning of time, and for it to complete and start again. So let's have a look at our um, curves. So this first one is the sine curve. We have seen this before. It starts at 0, 0. It's got an amplitude of 1. So it goes up to 1 and down to minus 1. And it repeats, or its period, is 2 pi. So you'll notice that after we get to 2 pi, 360 degrees when we use degrees, it repeats. So it starts the same curve again. So you just need to note. So it's pi on 2. It heats its uh, maximum. At pi, it returns back to zero. At 3 pi on 2, it reaches, uh, reaches its minimum at minus 1. And at 2 pi, it returns back to zero. For the cos curve, it starts at when x equals zero. So at the uh, yeah, x equals zero, it starts at 1. So its amplitude is 1, just like the sine curve. And its period's the same. It's 2 pi. So it starts at 0, 1, and at 2 pi, it returns to 1 again and then starts over. So that's our period. Um, points to note, at pi on 2, it uh, returns to 0, and at pi, it reaches its minimum, which is minus 1. At 3 pi on 2, it comes back to 0, and at 2 pi, it gets back to its maximum at 1. For the tan curve, so it's got asymptotes at, my, at pi on 2, 3 pi on 2, etc. Its amplitude, well it keeps going forever, so its amplitude is infinity. And its period, you'll note that it starts at 0, 0, and the next time it starts at 0 is at pi, and it does the same. So its period is pi, um, and they're just things that you need to note for the tan curve. So that's where we'll sort of end for our amplitudes and periods because the reciprocal graphs do have our, our periods. They're the same as their um, normal graphs, um, but um, we don't really refer to amplitudes for these ones. So this is a reminder, this is sec x. This is the reciprocal of cos. Uh, so cos is at zero at uh, pi on two. So there's an asymptote for sec. And cos returned to 0 at 3 pi on 2. So there's another asymptote there. So, and it's, um, yeah, just need to be aware of where the turning points are. Um, so it's 0, 1, because obviously 1 divided by 1. At pi minus 1, because 1 divided by minus 1 gets us negative 1. And that's how we try to remember our graph for sec x. For cosec, so it's a reciprocal of sine. So sine was at zero, uh, at zero, zero, and at pi and at two pi. So that's why we have asymptotes there. It was at one at pi on two. So that's why you see the um, turning point at pi on two, it's minimum. And at three pi on two, it was at minus one. And that's why you see it's maximum or a maximum turning point uh, for 3 pi on 2. And our final graph is cot x. It's the reciprocal of 10. So where 10 was 0 at 0 pi and at 2 pi, we now have asymptotes. And the asymptotes for 10, which is at pi on 2 and 3 pi on 2, it's now 0. Um, and that, res that relates to um, cot is cos over sine. So obviously where sine is zero, you get your asymptotes. Um, and that's how we uh, draw our graph. Thank you.